Now the first step is to try this in launch option. So copy this and then you can go to the game. So you can go to library and just make a right click on the game. This is just an example. So make a right click on the game, go to properties and in the launch option you type in dash user path space C colon backslash foundation data. So type in this launch the game and then check still not working. Uh, the next step is to delete user settings.config file. So for this you can go to file explorer, go to documents folder and then open this polymorph games folder, open foundation and over here you will see user settings.config. You can make a right click, delete it and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to rename or delete the save game files. When you rename or delete the save game files, you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, uh, you can just go to documents once again and then open this and you can make a right click on foundation folder. And then you, if you want to create a backup, you can just copy this folder and then you can paste it to the desktop. Just create a backup and then you can rename this folder dot old or you can simply delete this folder and then launch the game but you will lose all the game progress. Next step is to try DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 in launch option. So you can go to Steam library and then make a right click on your game. And once you make a right click, select properties. And then in the launch option, type in dash DX 11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. Then this time you can type in dash D3 D11 and then check still not working this time you can type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check now the first step is to simply restart your computer just restart your computer once do not ignore this step just restart your computer once and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder to run the game as an administrator go to steam and then go to library and then find the game in the list make a right click on the game and then select manage and then click on browse local files. Now, once you click on browse local files, it will take you to the game installation folder. Now, once you are in the game installation folder, make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties. Now, once you click on properties, now you will see this screen. Now, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. So put a check over here and then hit apply. Make sure that you hit apply and then click on OK and then launch the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try to launch the game from the game installation folder and then check. Still not working. Then this time put a check on this box and then select Windows 8 from the drop down option and then hit apply and then click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck all these boxes. So uncheck all the boxes. Now once you uncheck it, make sure that you hit apply and then click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam on the top, click on library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then allow the game exe file to Windows security. To add the game exe file to Windows security, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on 
add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder open the open your drive and then open open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file in your game folder so you can check all the game folder uh, there might be one or two exe file you have to add the exe file game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check you can do the same thing in firewall so type in control panel in windows search box and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app again click on browse and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here click on add and once the game is added to the firewall now you can click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can also go to amd website but first of all uninstall the current driver which is installed in computer so uninstall the current graphic card driver then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and download the latest graphic card driver install it and then restart your computer and then you can check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card to run the game on dedicated graphic card type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings now over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file now once you add the game exe file now you can find the game in the list this is just an example once you find the game in the list you can click on this down arrow and then select high performance and your graphic card so select your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to Win windows settings and then go to windows update then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 version so click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well click on it again run this exe file so click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals or any kind of usb adapter dongle connected disconnect it disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it 
disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor and then check if you have any third party services or application running close it disable steam overlay so to disable steam overlay go to steam go to library and then find the game in the list make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn this off and then check also if you have any other overlay application like discord or geforce experience running so if you have discord running you can go to discord settings go to game overlay over here and then on the right hand side here you can see enable in game overlay if this is on you can turn this off and if you are using geforce experience on the top right click on the settings icon and then over here you can see in game overlay you can turn this off and then check now also if you have any other overlay application then you can turn off the overlay in that application or you can simply close all the overlay applications so if you have any overlay application like i have discord you can close it if you have geforce experience close it any application close all the overlay application and third party application as well so if you see anything running over here you can just close it also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running over here make a right click close it if have if you have revert tuner running you can close revert tuner perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so put a check over here then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 1024 1024 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 491524 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer 
make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available in software and download page and download and install the BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10%. And the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, in that case, you can switch to window mode and lower down video settings like if the graphics preset is set to ultra or high you can set it to medium or low quality you can even try to turn off the v-sync turn on turn off or turn on the v-sync and then check so try to make changes in the graphic settings so try to lower it down and then launch the game and then check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to d uh, c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.